Okay, all oh, you lame duck ham and eggers. I'm gonna make a rant about how everybody's life is so repetitive. <clears throat> Every day, you get up early, you go to work, you do your very easy job, you come home, you watch some TV, you watch Elvis ranting and crapping on to the world about how good he is, or this person, or that person, or maybe you uh, can watch him ask for 5, 10, 15, 20 dollars, please give money to help support your king, and then uh, you go to bed. I mean, gosh, your life must be so boring. So boring. You're trapped paying mortgage, and somehow rent as well, and somehow car payments, and this and that, and you know, you got like credit cards, you got like seven different fucking lines of credit that you're trying to pay off, and that's all you do with your life. You have no money, to do anything except pay off seven different lines of credit. But the trouble is that I don't realize because I'm too fucking stupid that everybody works has more money than me. None of them have to beg for five, ten, fifteen dollars. And the dirty little fact is that the vast majority of them only have one or two lines of credit, if any credit at all. Because most of these trolls out here own their own fucking house. And if not, they at least own their own car. But I'm still writing on that you're paying a mortgage and a car loan, but you got nothing to show for it. While I'm in a vehicle that's only a few years newer than my fat ass, an old fucking rust bucket that looks like it's from the 70s and is actually from the 80s, plain Jane, commercial fucking van from the 1980s that's converted to an RV, and that's all I got to show for it. Well, as you're driving around in a fucking, in some cases, a fucking vehicle that's only two, three years old, and uh, you got a fucking huge big house, and I'm gonna sit there telling you that you have got nothing to show for five different lines of credit that you're paying off. I mean, golly, your life must be so boring. You sit in a rusting tin can, making rants about how everybody else's life is boring, and about how everybody else's life is repetitive. I used to get out there and walk down that beach and show them girls that I'm zooming in on and, uh, be a bit of a fucking pervert, and uh, oh look, this one's got a nice ass, and that one's probably a fucking uh, uh, housewife or something, and this one's a BBW, and uh, you know, at least I'd actually get out and walk like a half mile a day. And now, well now, I'm just a big fat umpalopa. Like Tasha can tell you, I don't go nowhere. I'm immobile because I'm so goddamn fat. While Tasha's going out for hikes, I'm just sitting there like a fucking land whale. I mean, hell, there's barely any diff difference from me and some of these fat university land whale feminists. They're random and raving and stuffing themselves, eating themselves to death. And I'm sitting there ranting and raving, eating them myself to death. The only difference is the fat feminists are sitting under air conditioning in an actual building. And I'm just sitting there in a rust bucket, a rusting tin can on wheels, with no air conditioning.
I mean, how? How about all these people's lives that they don't get to sit in a tin can on wheels with no fucking air conditioning and no damn heat either? Golly! I just don't get it. I don't get why anybody would work so they can have money in their pocket and have something to show for it all. I just don't get it. I just don't get why somebody has enough money to go buy a new vehicle or enough credit to get a new vehicle while all I got money and credit to do is show some greasy mum and pop takeaway the same shit that's slowly killing me the same greasy dripping pizza the same greasy slops of fucking pig food that look like something that's been ran over by a fucking RV and I'm living the life no money, no job, no assets, no future and I'm free of everything I'm so free that I ain't got nothing no job, no assets, no future and yet I think everybody who owns a house or a fairly new car or something that just ain't a rust bucket that's unmaintained heap of shit from the 80's is somehow trapped but what I don't realize is I'm trapped because my mind has thrown me into a denial curve and this denial curve is so steep I could be living under a fucking bridge with the rats and still telling you that I'm free because I don't have to pay for vehicle registration and a driver's license and I don't have to worry about no taxes because I'm living off a soup kitchen at this point. <clears throat> Hell, I don't even have to worry about charging my phone. So I just go off YouTube and die when some meth addict stabs me to fucking death under the bridge. I mean, golly. At least I didn't have to work. At least I didn't have to pay no registration. At least I didn't have to pay no license. I just had to lay there and die under that bridge as that meth addict stabbing me for five dollars. The last five dollars I had. And now I'm finished. And you ain't never gonna hear from me again. Because I didn't charge that phone and I went straight down the shithole of denial where the human survival instinct didn't kick in the only thing that survived was my ego which ran me into the ground and had me killed so well done Marshall you stuck in your little fucking denial loop going nowhere pretending you're getting somewhere pretending you're better than everyone else you are one prang, one crash, one police inspection away from living under a fucking bridge. So I hope you're happy with yourself and all the success that you haven't got. The train wreck's coming, the game's nearly over, but make sure your denial tells you the better than everyone else and make sure you still think you're the top as you're living under that fucking bridge. When one of those meth addicts comes for you, trust me. What I know about meth addicts, and this has come from the mouth of a former meth addict, you become reptilian, you don't give a fuck about anyone for anything. They effectively become psychopaths. So good job living with a meth addict becoming psychopaths under the bridge with nothing to lose who are sitting there trying to work out how they can sell you for blubber to the bloody soap factory good luck with that so confused as to why everybody else follows their life 
But I don't think you are. I think it's just ego. Just sheer ego. Boost and you're on. But instead of the survival mentality, the survival instinct, in fact, of humans kicking in, yours has done some sort of fucked up U-turn and it's going to finish you off. And it's not my problem. Like you said, you're free. You don't have any problems to worry about. Well, neither do I. In regards to your safety and welfare, I don't have anything to worry about because it's not my problem what happens to you. You're a grown adult. Hell, you're actually very, very close in age to me. <clears throat> so good luck fighting those meth addicts under that bridge. <laughs>